Now then, they say that lightning doesn't strike twice, but for Sheffield boxer Ross Birkinshaw, that doesn't ring true. Last September, he stepped in at the last minute to fight for the Commonwealth Bantamweight title when the previous challenger was injured. He won that fight and was scheduled to defend the title this coming Saturday until fate once again intervened. Ross will now contest the European title and if he's searching for the inspiration he needs, he needn't look uh, too far as Chris Dork reports. One, two, get down! They call him the boss, yet Ross Birkinshaw is still like the gym in which he trains, a work in progress. Ross was a serving soldier when he first signed to become a professional boxer in 2007. His career stalled following a succession of injuries. But out of the blue last September, he was given the chance to fight for the Commonwealth title. I knew I was going to have a win it. It was a shock to get the phone call to say the fight uh, four days before. I was actually going in to pick uh, my little boy up, Ruben, from school. And one of the parents said, how are you feeling? I said, oh, I wish the fight could be this Saturday. Walking out of gates, phone rang. Do you fancy fighting for the Commonwealth title? I said, yeah, when? He went, this Saturday. I went, let's do it. And do it he did. Ross was scheduled to defend his Commonwealth crown for the first time this Saturday, but at short notice once again, the opportunity arose to fight for the European title. <laughs> In his corner will be his trainer, Ryan Rhodes, a former European champion himself. It's that experience that, you know, having a, having a change of opponent two weeks before his fight, it's not going to phase him. He's, he's been through it long enough, he's done it for long enough, so it's not going to phase him. All it is, he's got to do, go in, do what I tell him to do, and then come out another champion. When I was a kid, looking up to Ryan, when they were him, Naz, Johnny Nelson, Bomber Graham, all of them about, I used to look up to them, and then now he's training me, so it's, I want to keep it going, I want to impress him. And impress him he will, if he can overcome Belgian Benjamin Smoes at the Octagon Centre in Sheffield. Another opportunity for Ross to show who's boss. <laughs> Chris Fox, ITV News, Sheffield. And good luck to Ross, and it's congratulations also to...